Hey guys, it's Jessie, and today I am here to talk to you about probiotics. My cat is downstairs, he's meowing a lot. I'm really sorry if you can hear him, but I'm just gonna ignore it. So probiotics are something that I didn't really know a whole lot about, um, but I knew they were good for you, so I started incorporating them into my diet, and it became a more regular thing for me. I just became very consistent with incorporating them into my daily routine. And looking back, it's one of those things where I feel like I can really see a difference and see how it's impacted my overall health. So I've got a few awesome products that I wanted to show you today, um, different ways I get probiotics into my diet. But first, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on why I take probiotics um, and some of the benefits I see from them. So one big reason I love my probiotics is for my digestion. Just that good bacteria being introduced into your gut is a really great way to balance things out and keep things going through you and clearing out all the toxins in your body. That leads me to number two, which is boosting my immune system. Your immune system is housed primarily in the digestive tract, so when you've got good digestion, toxins are getting out of there, your immune system will not be as suppressed and it's able to do its job. For me, that is very important because I work with kids every day and they've got a lot of germs, so I totally need my immune system to be on par. Otherwise, I will get sick a lot, and that can be a vicious cycle and just stressful on your body. So number three, another reason why I love my probiotics is for their impact on my skin. Um, they really help with fighting inflammation in the body, and when my system is inflamed, that shows up in my skin as acne. So although, you know, cleaning up my skincare, you know, eating a paleo diet, those are big key things for clearing up your skin, probiotics have really helped me too, um, and I can really see that looking back for as long as I've been taking them now. So I've done a lot of research on probiotics, but I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, so I'm going to put some of those resources below so that you can check them out for yourselves. Um, there's a lot of good information out there, so I'll just link a couple that I really like. So let's get on to the products. I've got three really good ones um, that are some different ways to get probiotics in daily. So let's see. Let's start with kombucha because I feel like a lot of people talk about kombucha. It's just kind of an easy one that you can find so many places now. Um, any grocery store, even Target has kombucha. This one is the Health Aid brand and it's my new favorite. Um, you can find it at Target, Whole Foods. This is the maca berry flavor, so it's got some maca benefits in there as well. But this one is just not as vinegary or like as acidic as a typical kombucha, so I really enjoy it. So number two is a fermented food. I have shown this before here on my channel, uh, mentioned it before, but it is the Farmhouse Culture Kimchi. If you like sauerkraut, this is basically like an Asian flavored version of that, um, and it's got some different ingredients in it. This one is the spicy ginger flavor, so it's super delicious if you put some cashews in it um, for a little crunch. You can use that as a condiment um, on different meals, or you can just eat it as a side dish. So if you're not a fan of kombucha and you don't want to eat fermented foods, I would say totally go for a kefir. Um, kefir is basically just like a fermented drink and it's typically done with milk. This one is done using coconut water, so it's dairy free. Um, it sort of tastes like the kombucha. Um, this is the plain flavor, but they do have like berry flavor, I think, and some other ones. The Inner Eco brand is my favorite. I have tried a few different ones, but it's basically just a fizzy drink. You can kind of hear it. It smells like coconut water, um, it's just fermented. So you can just take a small shot of this daily or you can mix it into a smoothie or a shake to kind of mask the flavor if you're not into it. So Dathan left the house, which is why this guy's crying by the door, he wants to go outside. Um, so sorry about that, I hope it wasn't too loud. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something a little helpful or at least found a new product that you could try out. Um, I would love to know if you guys have any recommendations for probiotics that I should try. I'm always open to new ones. So yeah, leave me a comment below. But yeah, that's it for today and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!